Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. Hope you're all doing well. Stoke 2, Norwich City 3. A dramatic game of football. Probably the most entertaining football we've seen from Norwich City um, this season. A crazy game. Norwich City go 3-0 up. Goals from Emi Buendia and a team who Puki breaks. It really was the Timu Puki and Emi Buendia show, show. And then Emi Buendia gets a silly red card and suddenly Norris City are hanging on for their lives essentially in the game. Stoke score two late goals, but Norris City hang on for what was a really, really big win against a very good Stoke side. Let's see how social media have reacted to Norris City's free to win over Stoke, which keeps them top of the table, which is absolutely brilliant. And, and you know, Stoke are a very good team at this level. They'd be in and around the playoffs, so it really was a fantastic win for Norwich City Football Club, and I'm absolutely des del uh, delighted. I think my heart during the game was was pretty much like that. It was beaten very heavily, and um, I, I I know the commentators are very stressed. I'm so sure many of you guys were stressed watching the game as well, uh, whether you was watching it or listening to it on uh, Radio Norfolk. But yeah. A really, really good win for Norwich City. Um, and let's hope we can build on that. But let's see how social media have reacted um, as Norwich City win this game. Um, and I have uploaded my match review as well on the channel, as I spoke about earlier. Um, and yeah, I was absolutely delighted with the win. So yeah, let's see how social media have reacted as Norwich City stayed top of the table and beat Stoke City by three goals to two. Um, let's start with Richard. He says, should have subbed Emmy after his first yellow, who's rattled and was always going to do something that would get him in trouble. Three no and cruising, ten minutes later when we left hanging on for a crucial win, which we got, so hurrah. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Definitely wasn't Daniel Farker's fault. I think Daniel Farker's game management has been so much better this season, but... Uh, yeah, Emi Buendia should have got uh, sent off after his first yellow because we all know Emi Buendia is a bit of a hothead and a bit crazy and that's the one area Emi Buendia needs to improve on his attitude because before that moment Emi Buendia was probably the man the match he was brilliant he took his first goal brilliantly a beautiful assist for Timu Puki but he just needs to watch his attitude um, but yeah, Emi Buendia will be out for the next game but but regardless of this, I mean, there's an argument on social media. Did Emi Buendia almost lose the game? Almost, not lose, but almost drop, drop the points for us or did he win it for us? Emi Buendia still won the game for us. Yes, he did something very stupid, but the defending for the goals was really poor and he had a real big impact on the game against Stoke. Um, so that's really pleasing. Stuart Lewis, good result, but selection changes for the next few games. Let me single out two players that others probably won't. Solid performance from Martin on his full debut and Sorensen playing in an unfamiliar position. Yeah. Josh Martin started the first uh, his, his first ever Norwich City game and he was absolutely electric, wasn't he? So pivotal for the first goal. The way he drove forward was absolutely brilliant and such positivity and, and he was key in the first goal and Norwich City opening the scoring, you know, a lovely driving run and the ball went and ends up finding his way to Puki. Puki just deep and Wendy and then puts the ball into the back of the net. Um, and also obviously getting the assist for the third goal as well, which proved to be absolutely decisive. A lovely through ball through the middle of the pitch for Timo Puki to score. So yeah, Martin's a youngster. Um, hasn't been able to get much football, but because of the injuries, he's now come in and he's done an exceptional job and he's got to start on Saturday against Coventry. And Sorensen as well at the left back. Fair play. I, I still feel like loaning out someone like Sam McCallum was a very silly thing to do. Um, but Sorensen's come in and he's done a really good job in a new country, in an unfamiliar position, which he's never played before. Hats off to you, Sorensen. That's brilliant. And, and yeah, it was really, really good today. Josh Roper would have taken a point prior to the game tonight. Really outplayed Stoke with 11 men and didn't give much clear uh, cut chances away with 10 either. One of the best three points of the season. You know what, Josh? I agree. I think coming into this game, I would have taken a draw. I, I predicted a 1-1 draw. Um, and forget about the last 20 minutes where Norris City were all over the place. The first... Um, 60, 70 minutes. Norris City were absolutely electric. With 11 v 11, Norris City was superb. Emi Buendia was running the strings and, you know, without Buendia, I don't think we would have won the game, although he did, you could argue, almost lose it for us. But, no, Norris City were absolutely brilliant against a very good Stoke side and that, and that, that shows promise because Norris City at times have got a bit lucky, but we, we, we've seen when we've come up against the good teams like Stoke and Bristol City, God, when, when we get our football going, we're a really good team to watch. And we haven't even got into, you know, the top gears yet, which is really exciting. Um, but no, that was an absolutely massive win against Stoke, which keeps us top of the table, which is always good to see. Um, Brian says, yeah, forget that last last 30 minutes. We, we could have, um, we've got out of there with three points. Stoke are a quality side. The big worry for me is the injury to Tim Krull. Yep, of course, Tim Krull um, going off just at the end of the first half. That's big, big blow because Tim Krull 
was our player of the season. I don't think we'd be top. We, we wouldn't be top without him. Made some brilliant saves against Rotherham, against Swansea. Um, so yeah, Tim Cole has been absolutely key to Norwich City doing so well this season. So it's, it's really it's really hurtful to see him get injured. Um, but let's hope it's not too bad. We we'll have to wait to hear from Daniel Farker to see how bad it is. Um, and yeah, Norwich City did it on a cold, wet Tuesday night in Stoke, which is always good to see. Um, so impressed with Josh Martin. What a performance from him. Yep, I agree. Josh Martin, I thought, was probably the second best player on the pitch. Um, Emi Buendia was probably the best before the red card. But yeah, Josh Martin, such an entertaining performance from him and, and, and yeah, did some really good things. Norwich, your call, that was tough to watch. Stoke literally throwing everything at our box in the last 20. But we'll take it all day long. A win is a win. This one feels massive. Yeah, me too. Because I feel like in previous years, we wouldn't have won that game. I think we'd have buckled under the pressure. I immediately think to Newcastle 4, Norwich 3 a few years back. Um, I don't. Let's stop about that memory. That was a horrific memory. But um, yeah, Norwich City did really well to hang on to those points. And at the end of the season, we're not going to look back at this game and, and talk about the performance. We're going to talk about the result. And Norwich City deserved to win. We were absolutely excellent in the first half. Excellent in the first 60, 70 minutes. Um, and it was a really exciting performance. Um, let's move on to some other things here. Um, James Smith, not going to moan at any tonight, was a clumsy second yellow, but he won us that game with how he played uh, before that. Quality goal and quality assist. He probably needs a rest anyway before a busy December. Yeah, the red card might work out quite nicely for him. I mean, with injuries, we're in absolutely horrific position. I spoke in my match preview about all our injuries. And yeah, Norris City is certainly piling up for them <laughs> quite extensively. Um, and of course, Adam Eder's out till February. Jordan Hugel's out. If we get an injury to Timu Puki, it's over. It's over. We need to make sure Puki's fit. And, and someone like Buendia, who... Hasn't even reached his full potential in the championship for Norwich yet. He's still he's still putting in game changing performances. Um, so yeah, that that rest might might do well, and let's hope there's no more injuries to this Norwich City squad. Please, God no. Um, Kevin, don't forget Mavin had a good spell good spell before debutising for Ruddy. It's not the end of the world. McGovern's, I think, a decent goalkeeper. I think he gets a bit of slander, but I think he's a good goalkeeper at this level. We we'll have to wait to see how he does. He hasn't really had a really long run, um, in the team, but. He's no Tim Krull, let's, let's be honest. Um, Carla says, we did it our way. Yep, Norris City can never win comfortably. And I, I should have learned that. I was kind of sitting back on, on, on my sofa relaxing. Um, you know, being a Norwich fan for however how many years, um, you, you've got to learn that's definitely not the right way to do it. Um, yeah, Norris City did it. We, we did it our way. And I think that's a great way to sum it up. Um, and finally, let's end with Ali. He says, Emmy pivotal for our goals. Doesn't deserve criticism for two yellows. Injuries plaguing us again too. Thank uh, God team spirit at the high and we held on. Something that before we might have collapsed at. I agree. That's a big three points on a cold Tuesday uh, night in Stoke. Yeah, completely agree. Great team spirit. Um, and yeah, I, I think we might have collapsed under that pressure. But credit to Ben God, um, Ben Godfrey, Ben Gibson, sorry. We, we've sold Jamal Lewis. We've sold Ben Godfrey. Ben Gibson's come in for Ben Godfrey and he's steadied the ship. And I think before we might have collapsed in a game like this, but yeah, with Gibson and Handy at the back were absolutely brilliant. Um, and yeah, we did really well to hang on. I do think it was very stupid from Emmy. Um, yes, he's trying to win the ball, but he should never put his um his foot that high for that. For, for you know, especially when you're on a yellow card, there's no need to put your foot that high when it's it's in Stokes area. Um, so it's silly from Emmy, but let's not forget Emmy Buendia changed the game. Um, brilliant goal to open the score, a, a brilliant, brilliant assist for Team Puki. So on the Emi Buendia matter, I don't, I, without Emi Buendia, I don't think we would have won this game. Yes, it was a very silly thing to do, but Buendia and Puki, it was their show tonight and that was absolutely brilliant. But credit to the likes of Josh Martin and Ben Gibson as well. That is how social media have reacted to Norris City's 3-2 win over Stoke. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section as Norris City face Coventry. Um, on Saturday and let's hope Norwich City can continue that brilliant unbeaten run. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.